Hello friends, in this video we are going to see a complaint that the IC get heater whenever it is being used. Why this is heated because my phone is shorted. How I was able to find this was I have given supply from my battery to this IC and when I insert this and when I touch the IC it gets heated more than the usual heat it produced. So it was more heated than the usual heat. So because of that the IC is getting heated. So now I'll check and show you the battery connector whether it is in full circuit or not. Whichever side I keep it, it gives a buzzer sound. My board is in full shot because the IC is getting heated. So now what we are going to do is we are going to remove the IC and going to reboil it and I'll again replace it in the board. So first of all remove the heat sinks. And now I am going to clean the excess balls which are here. We will see how to regenerate the IC. That is how to generate the IC first. And I am taking the IC now and I am cleaning the extra balls. And now we will see how to generate the IC. Take and remember the position in which position you have taken that so that you could be able to replace it in the same position in which you have taken the IC. Could you able to see the excess balls there so I will clean it. And I have kept the IC in a kit. This kit is called as reboiling kit. In this kit, we have various types of IC sizes. You can fix it regarding the size of your IC. While IC is reboiling, we cannot hold it in our hand. So we are going to use this reboiling IC kit. And this is called as stencil. This stencil is very important for reboiling the IC. These two plates are known as the stencil plates. And this two plates has the capacity to reboot nearly 50 ICs, even more than 50 ICs. If you know the number or name of the IC, you can use that and can choose this stencil plate. It has various types of stencil plates also. So now I have taken the stencil for this IC. Fix it correctly without any mismatch. So this is the IC. Fix it correctly without any mismatch. And now I am going to apply a paste which is called as PPT paste. It is like the soldering paste. I have fixed and now I am going to apply it. Apply it gently. So this is the PPT paste. I am applying it in the stencil and till the hole has been hidden. I am hiding the holes by applying this paste in the stencil plate. I have hidden all the holes there. And now we are going to heat it and by using the SMD rework station, I am going to generate the balls. I am heating it now. Heat till the holes are being seen. And now I have generated the IC. The balls are now generated. If it is not generated, you have to regenerate it again. If the regenerating process is not done properly, you have to do it again with the same method 
which I have shown you now. So you should clean the board and you should fix the IC again without changing the position of it. So you should fix it again and I am going to fix the IC in the correct position. So you should clean before fixing the IC. So before fixing the IC you should heat the board. I have taken it in the same position so I am just checking there will be a golden color indicator over there. So now I am heating before fixing it and now it is placed. So now the IC is fixed. It is fixed in a correct position. So now I am going to check using the multimeter whether is there any shot in my mobile or not. So now I am checking using the multimeter there is no shot in my mobile. I have fixed the battery display and connector and so on with the mobile and now I am going to power on the mobile and going to check. So now let me power on the mobile. This is my power button. So now it's powered on. That's it. So thank you for watching this video.